Welcome to Wolfpack TV. I'm your host, Larry Reed, coming to you from Vancouver for the second year in a row. This UBC was the site of the Canada West Final Four for men's soccer. And for the second year in a row, the Wolfpack men's team was here. They opened things up on Friday as they took on the Trinity Western Spartans, with the Wolfpack having a six game unbeaten streak on the line. Pack in black, Trinity Western in white. The Spartans draw first blood, comes off a corner kick. Leighton Johnson takes it. It's cashed in by Dominic Paletto. Spartans go up by two in the 29th minute. Scramble in front of the goal. It's driven home by Cody Franson. Trinity up by a pair at the half. And that does it for Jackson Gardner in the TRU net. Second half, Thompson Rivers starting to press as Thomas Lant meters over the net in the 68th minute. 73rd minute, another TRU chance. Levi Andola, the rookie from Wolverhampton, England, sends it deep to Justin Donaldson, who heads it, it falls short. Alex Ram in goal for the pack in the second half. He makes a big stop here in the 81st minute. That was one of a number of stops that Ram made in the second half, trying to keep his team in the thick of things. 84th minute, the pack knowing the clock is ticking, Papa Dynitz to Donaldson. Late in the contest, Trinity goes up by three as Ram tries to head the ball. Franson is there to collect the spoils. 3-0 the final, the Spartans move to the gold medal match and earn a berth to the U Sports Soccer Nationals automatically as host UBC hammers Fraser Valley 7-0 in their semifinal. It sets up Saturday night's bronze medal match, the Pack and the Cascades. Torrential downpour at times in this one, Wolfpack with the build up early on. Watch the far side of the screen, Mitch Papadinitz with the moves, he gets the shot away but it's too sharp an angle. TRU does get on the scoreboard in the 24th minute. How many times has set pieces worked for this team? Well, plenty, and it does again. Papa Dynitz to Justin Donaldson, it's 1-0. These teams with a bit of a rivalry, Josh Banton down the near side, literally down after getting an elbow sandwich, courtesy of the Cascades. Just before the first half ends, Fraser Valley with the corner, punched away by rookie Jackson Gardner. Let's move to the second half, 55 minutes in, Donaldson with a lead pass to Kofi Nyavor. 61st minute, Glassmacher to Khalifa Fan over the top of the net. This is one of the best chances for Fraser Valley. Canada West All-Star Gurmeen Jag bulldozes over Gardner. The pack with plenty of chances to add to their lead late in the contest. Thomas Lantmeters feeding Nyavor on the left side. He drives but couldn't get the shot away. Approaching stoppage time. It's a four on one for TRU. Nyavor again tackled. The ball comes to James Fraser, who does some fancy footwork to kill the clock. It's a 1-0 final. TRU winning its second straight bronze medal at the Canada West level. Not bad for a program who's only been in the league for five years. i uh, just happy for the guys, especially our graduating players. Uh, you know, it was uh, quite an up and down year, but uh, at, at the end of it, it ended up up, <laughs> which is good where we wanted it. Not exactly the color of the medal we were we were working and fighting for, but uh, this is great for our program and great for our players. What was the turning point as you look back on the season? Uh, you, you, you ran the table. What was the difference? I, I think just having everybody there and everybody healthy. Um, it, it gave us an opportunity for guys to work together to click. Um, it, it, just a, a good mindset. The guys didn't want to go out the way it was it was going, and they just all started working together, and everything ended up working out in the end. Uh, we, we had a really rough start this year. Injuries hit us hard. I mean, being down two to sit two six, and I think two or something like that. I mean, we needed to pick it up. And once Mitchie, Finn, myself, everyone was healthy, we made the run. Five six games came along, and I mean, no one expected us to be in the playoffs. So once we're here, I mean, we just fight and fight, and at the end of the day, we're getting our medal. Men's basketball also in action on Saturday. They were in Kirkland, Washington, the birthplace of Costco, taking on Northwest University and NAIA school. The pack lost by eight. Derek Rhodes, the team's lone fifth-year player, leading the offense with 18 points. Anton Villas contributed 17. Just really struggled to defend in the second half, gave up 55 points, and when you're on the road, uh, it's gonna be very difficult to win if you're gonna give up scores in the 90s. You know, that's where we're, we're at. We need to improve that and uh, figure it out in a hurry because league play is upon us. The Pack swim team were in Vancouver as well. First time in their history they had their squad at the prestigious Audlem Brown College's Cup at UBC. Riley McRae had a big debut swimming at the university stage, finishing sixth in the men's 200 meter free. He and his teammates finished sixth in the 4x400. Tyler Gauthier was in the top 15 in 100 meters. Among the women, Emily DeGasso, 14th in the 200-meter back and 17th in the 50-meter back. 
The women's relay team was ninth in the 4x200 event. They are two weeks away from Canada West Championships. It was the first time stepping up and swimming against university level athletes and having a good you know, senior type of program going on. Uh, each session we got progressively better and our last session we were very good. So the, the racing got better all weekend. So in preparation for Canada West, we're really excited. Looking ahead to this week, it's the home opener for the basketball teams. They will entertain the UVic Vikes Friday and Saturday on the Warner Rentals Court. A reminder, the Friday start time's 5 o'clock now. Come and have your dinner while watching the pack. Another week of rest for the men's volleyball team thanks to the Regina Cougars collapsing their program. But the women will be in Regina to take on the Cougars this week. And the Wolfpack Cross Country team send four athletes, Caleb Kerrigan, Troy Morgan, and the Whitehorse duo of Zoe Painter and Kendra Murray off to Kingston for the U Sports Nationals hosted by Queen's University. And speaking of this week, that does it for this edition of our program this time around. Don't forget to keep checking our website for full game highlights, features, and everything Wolfpack. It's www.gotrewolfpack.ca. And follow, retweet, and like what the Wolfpack have on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. I'm Larry Reed. We'll chat again in seven days.